I just got done doing five days in jail. Um, I am facing felony menacing because my neighbor um, reported me for that letter I wrote. And, there, and the, the cop who came to my house, he's retired DEA. He's not DEA. He's a black cop. Um, the moment I mentioned CIA, you're under arrest, basically. So, um, yeah, they're saying that I was threatening this guy. So I'm the minimum, the mandatory minimum, six months in prison, the maximum six years. And um, it's two years parole after you get out for getting threatened and then trying to write a polite letter warning this person that you have a concealed firearm because you don't want them to do something that endangers their life. Like walk up to the edge of your yard, look at you, or no, no, you're just standing there and then you reach for your, reach for your, into your waistband, which is a common thing that police shoot people on accident over. It's a very normal thing. And then you turn around and you show me your Magnum Shooting Center shirt. So, I've been trying not to snap, which I have snapped. Because here's the thing, menacing is when the undercover federal agents put women sucking horses cocks on your fucking child's computer. Menacing is when they scream at your child when he's walking down the road that says, I'm, you, like, I was, I was in the same location where they, they, in a car, screeches wheels when I was like 10 and he screamed out at his window, I'm gonna fucking kill you to a small child and I jumped into a bush. So menacing is when my dad, before I did my hunger strike, they shot a bullet past his head in my neighborhood. This is the same neighborhood where Max Lucado lived, in the biggest house in the entire neighborhood. Like he lived in the mansion of the entire neighborhood overlooking San Antonio. That neighborhood is where my dad got a bullet shot past his head. The federal agents didn't do it. This neighbor, he's not a federal agent. He's not CIA. He, he has no relationship with the feds at all. He didn't threaten me. He didn't fucking menace me! Him? Are you fucking kidding me? I missed him! Menacing is when you fucking pick up a hitchhiker and you bring him to your house and then you fucking walk back and forth with a fucking sword! Menacing is when you give a guy a fucking gun after you told him a story about how you got busted with a 100 round magazine and a bunch of guns! A bag full of fucking guns, and you give him your gun, and then you shoot a cap gun to scare him. That's menacing. That's actually menacing, dude. Menacing is when you beat up someone's fucking 14-year-old kid. That's menacing. Menacing is beating up a 14-year-old kid. <sighs> menacing is when a guy's doing a hunger strike to protest the feds giving middle school kids free fucking drugs, and then people try to fight him because you want to murder him. You want to try to get him into a fight situation so you can murder him because all he's doing is sitting by him fucking self waiting for the library to open. That's fucking menacing. You know what's not menacing? Please be fucking careful, dude. I'm scared of you. I'm fucking scared of you, dude. Do you have any idea what people do to me? Do you have any idea how many people have scared me? They fucking rigged my car to have my hood go through my windshield because I drove to Colorado as an 18 year old. That's fucking menacing! That's not menacing, it's murder! It's attempted murder on a fucking kid! That's a Christian that tries so hard to be a good fucking person. You know what's more menacing than anything? The fucking Austin Bomber. But you know what's actually more menacing than the Austin Bomber? Mark Anthony Condit, because that's the ultimate intimidation! So yeah, I'm going to prison, guys. They, this judge, all these people go to this judge. She's nice to him. The moment I get on the screen, her face changes. Like she despises me. This is just for a bail hearing. I need a PR bond so I can get out because my mom says she's not bailing me out. So a PR bond is how you get released without money because I don't have any money because I don't have money. I can't have a lawyer. I have to get a fucking public defender now 
and my public defender argued against me in court. My public defender argued against, or didn't argue against me, but they argued for a PR, for a bond, not a PR bond. They wanted no change in my bond, and I was trying to get a PR bond so I can get out of jail, so I can make a fucking video to tell you about James Lambert, the fucking black cop that holds me in custody. While I'm in custody, I'm saying, you need to call my boss. She's, she worked with the military police. She was there for the meeting with all these NSBA people. She knows why I'm fucking worried about someone murdering me. So does this other guy. I can't even tell him about the other, other guy. No, no. He, this is this fucking black guy. I swear to God. I'm in his custody in the jail. He says, we're not out there anymore. In here, I can do anything I want to you. He says it four fucking times and he looks mean when he says it. Because he wants to let me know I can fucking hurt you in here. I control you. But he's retired DEA. I kept asking him. I said, are you sure you're not targeting me? He said, I've never heard of you. That's what he said. I did a hunger strike in Colorado Springs protesting motherfuckers like him. Because they were having their kids give free drugs to me in seventh fucking grade. So menacing is when, you are, when you're a federal agent dressed up like a homeless person and you're intimidating a fucking young girl like my little sister when she's trying to just go to work waiting tables. She doesn't have a lot of money. That's fucking menacing. Menacing? Oh yeah, what's that one time? I have a list. They tried to run me off the road when I was went to go change out my SIM card because I didn't want them to spy on me anymore because I was afraid of them. I, I, the, why do I never want them to spy on me? Because I don't want to know where I'm going. Why? It's not just about the drugs. It's about I don't want them to know where I'm going because they might be waiting in ambush. Menacing is when you do bomb threats at his work and at his class when he's taking a test. I had to get evacuated because they did a bomb threat and they did a bomb threat at my work. They left, someone left suspicious packages at my dad's work. Three bomb threats, three, three evacuations in one semester. That's fucking menacing and I'm just saying, dude, this guy, he's a fucking terror. Fuck this guy, dude. Fuck, I have to, he has to, he's gonna have his gun and they just took all my guns. I have no fucking gun. I don't know how to fucking leave my house because they're going to fucking kill me. That's why they don't want me to have a fucking gun. Because if, if they don't kill me, they want someone else to kill me. Because they know that why. Because James Lambert says, I have no open drug cases. I don't exist. So, you know, menacing and it almost is having the entire board of the NSA show up at your office because you caught them fucking hacking you illegally and they know very well they're, they're breaking the law. That's the thing, it's, a, it's against their charter. So, you know what, yeah, um, fuck you.